I'm at Johnson and Sons, CDJR, basically the Chrysler dealer in Wisconsin Rapids. I can remember when this lot had, uh, so I thought this was where the Mazda dealer was way back in the day. All right, let's see uh, what they have. I keep hearing that the uh, Jeeps have gone up. There's a four by E. $62,000, not as bad as I uh, hear, but uh, still a little electric Jeep. Oh, it's got a copy. Oh, 9,000 off. 53,440 plus tax title and license. So they are uh, taking some money off. Another cheap Wrangler sitting here. Oh, there's a sticker on the back. Spider web. Hopefully that doesn't say too much about it. $57,000. Lily's 4x4. That almost looks like I could stencil on that Lily's like that. I think it's a retro style. All right, one more. Wrangler, and then we get to the uh, Chrysler Vans. Well, it seems funny, no stuff on there, like it seems empty. I do not see. Put the sticker in a different place every time, it looks like. Cobwebs, cobwebs. Oh, I'm hitting cobwebs and tracking them. $57,000. The base price is $49, so there's not a lot of room for options. All right, I believe this is Chrysler's sole product now. The minivan, Pacifica, 47 grand. I mean, that's nice. I just, I don't know, minivans, not really my dream vehicle, I guess. But as long as we're looking. Oh, it's got like a sport interior, all the 53,000. Fast appearance. Kind of around my throat. Ooh, the road tripper. I'm picturing National Lampoon's vacation. The, uh, oh, I forget what that car was called. Had a whole bunch of names. Nice interior on this. I don't see a super price, though. So. I'm sure it's up there. Oh, there it is. 48. For the road tripper. You go in the Wally world, you take the road tripper. All right, I always like the uh, challengers. 392. The window opening is always so short in sports cars. Oh, scat pack. And I'm uh, kind of claustrophobic. I'm always afraid you're going to get an accident after you get out. 57000 for the RT Scat Path Bus. Huh. I'm not sure exactly what the Scat Pack includes, but I'm sure it's all there. 392 V8 SRT Hemi. Oh, six speed manual. I missed that. Oh, it is a six speed manual. I just can't imagine driving an eight cylinder six speed. I mean, I have trouble uh, merging on the highway on the ramp, and with this, uh, you'd be ahead of everybody. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be up ahead and pulled over, probably. Grand Cherokee. Every uh, count I know, I swear I drove it during the Grand Cherokee. Oh, uh, those always seemed expensive, but by the price of the other ones, they don't seem that expensive. In the 50 range. See, this thing's 78. Oh, SRT 192, so it's got the bigger engine. Kind of plain other than that. So I guess that engine carries a steep premium. Grand Cherokee in there. Oh, your uh, little short Jeep. Regular 48. Oh, dealer discount 44,574. So they're marking them down. At least they're not charging uh, additional markup like some dealers are. Again, this is Johnson and Sons in Wisconsin Rapids. Decent selection. Never cheap enough for me, but decent selection. Ooh, a compass. 
36 grand. And it seems like this is their uh, value leader. No leather seats, so I mean, it's, it's one of some options. Two compasses, compass eye, not sure what you call. A whole bunch of Jeep compasses and a flock. What's the price of this? 34, getting down there. Now if only we could tow 10,000 pounds, you'd be all set. I mean, any of these work if you don't need to do anything. 35,000. And I have never had a compass or dealt with one. I have no idea what their towing capacity is. I mean, it's nice interior and stuff. 36,000. A two liter, four cylinder, eight speed automatic. Well, leatherette seats. I don't know if that's, I mean, I don't know. Call them vinyl, I guess. I, I like the uh, Volkswagen's, uh, oh no, I can't think. I can never think what I'm talking. Uh, what they call their vinyl seats. Kind of like how Mercedes had appears. All right, 60 grand, Dodge Ram, crew cab. Oh, I still say Dodge Ram. Ram crew cab. Uh, what's sleeping? Oh, 3.6 V6, eight speed automatic. Well, this looks like it's gonna rain on me before I uh, finish drinking around. Oh, look how the bed's been holding water. 60,000. Oh, e-torque. What does an e-torque give you? In the, uh, let's see, color. Well, 3.6 V6. VVT e-torque engine. I don't know if that's a hybrid then. I'm not sure what the e-torque package exactly gives you. 44 off-road. This looks like a bigger cab. Weather. Of course, they're all locked. How are you supposed to be nosy if all the trucks are locked? All right, this is a small extra cab. Stick around the other side. Clean bed. Black rims. $50,695. So 50 grand. Hemi Etorque, 1500 gram. Oh, this has got like a sale tag or something on it. 55000 on sale. What a bargain. I work pretty steady since I've been doing this way too long. Hey, 42. Oh, that's a 2023. Oh, it's a new 2023. 48000 is the sticker price. That's only the other, the only other um, 2023s I've seen were the uh, Ford uh, uh, Mustang Mach-E. So yeah, that is kind of, oh, there's another one, 2022. That's not like crazy expensive. Don't know why they'd still be sitting on a 2023. 2025 is basically out. All right, use vehicles. This kind of paints a picture. Well, it's kind of low at the back, doesn't it? It's the hill it's sitting on. Oh, the hood looks popped, too. 20 miles. 124,000. Grass for 20 grand. That's option. No. Well, let's, let's see if that rust one will go ahead. All right, Grand Cherokee. Off interior, no sun roof. And no window sticker. The Grand Cherokee. Moody 2000. Price $61,000. 2020. Nice. I don't know, I test drove a Wrangler short wheel base like the Swans, but never owned one. Their uh, numbers are just off a of hair. I can't quite read them. $27,000 and maybe 60,000 miles. Some two digit number where they 
typed it and we're off just a hair, so you can't quite read it. All right, like all these U's that are the same. I don't know, what does it say? Lease returns, they pick up an option maybe. Oh wait, this is new. Oh, we mixed over in the used. Uh, compass latitude, 37 grand. Could have a plain Jane at that. Let's put this one next to it, it has a used car tag on it. Again, hard to read, 60,000 miles must be. All right, no one mixed in, and then another used one. It's a little odd that they have a no one mixed in like this, some story with that. Oh, 58,000 miles, 23. It was a rental. It's uh, the window sticker was signed in July. What's this, September? So, I mean, not crazy old. That's pretty recent, 63,000 miles, 2022, 2022 grand. Guy, I guess. All right, standing up a little in Pacifica. We got 64,000 miles, it was a rental, 3.6, asking 27,000 for it. Like color interior, it still looks decent, but those do tend to wear out. All right, curious about that F 150. Yeah, they've got a few trucks here. Well, then you ask the opposite question so, did they uh, trade these for Dodge or did these come from auction? No, no, you can pull Carfax, and I think sometimes it'll show you what uh, when stuff went to auction. That looks like 4,000 miles on it. Why so low? You can quite read the price on that. 40 grand, I think. Uh, 40 grand for you truck. I suppose no one's are 50 or 60. I don't, when you think about a depreciation per month, a payment per month, it uh, is crazy. I mean, $60,000 truck, five years, 60 months, 20,000 miles, 46 grand. <laughs> 2022. Just wow. Dog next door is not happy that I'm over here. Hey, that next one's a Ford Charmer. Alright, let's move. Z71, clock interior. Hold on seats. See, the mileage looks like three digits, like 725, like less than a thousand miles. Seems unlikely, but 56 grand. Oh, 1127 and 23. This is problem with the navigation system. I don't sound like there's a story there. Especially a used car you have for a uh, year. Nice interior. I like that. It's kind of a gray blue. I don't know what it is. Oh, 15,000 miles maybe. All well, their mileage is just off, so you can't quite read it. Asking 70 for it, wow. 3.5, six cylinder. Trevor package, it's a little higher package, but seems like the new ones aren't that much. Cause it's just the F-150. I think they'd have the F-250 or something in the Tremor also. A little higher. Ram with an eight cylinder. At least you get eight cylinders, you pay by the cylinder. Looks like 30,000 bucks. Or 30,000 miles, 30,000 bucks. Like one for one. Older Chevy. I mean, definitely if you can take an older vehicle, you can uh, pay a lot less. All of my Chevy experiences involved a lot of rust. Looks like 118,000 miles. For 15 grand. But 118,000 miles, I mean. We do see these with over 200. So if you get something like this, see when it doesn't rust out on you. Maybe you can put 100,000 miles on it. 
be money ahead of something else. But not as pretty, but spend a lot less money. F-250, heavy duty. Such a plowing business, I guess. Uh, looks like 90,000 miles and asking 30 grand. I mean, this can do a lot more than a smaller car. You can get some new smaller cars for less. Maybe 5.7 on a regular cab. Let's see. Oh, there's a sticker on the backside over here. I don't use Dodges anywhere else, but this is a Dodge dealer. Oh, 20 grand. I can't even read how many miles this thing has on it. Probably have to go to the website. I would think I could look at the website and look up any of these. The ranch hand gr brush guard. 5.7 V8. Looks like 68,000 miles, 32 grand. Uh, 2019. Decent interior. Ah, uh, let's see, what else is here? Are those used? Looks like a fair amount of used. Kind of sticking to the brand here, looking at the Jeeps. I see a lot of Fords. I see, it looks like 13,000 miles, but 23 grand in a 2021. Oh, Renegade 5 speed. Look how sun faded that front is. Interior looks brighter with the white color. 50,000 miles, 19 grand. I don't know, to me there's a lot of math involved with uh, what kind of car to buy. I mean, yeah, if there's one that you're just dreaming of, maybe that's it, but if there's not, you want to try to get the best value for your money. How long something's going to last is a big part of it. I mean, looking at these uh, sale values, they're definitely holding their value. But I think part of what the uh, manufacturers are doing is trying to keep the prices high on used to help the uh, lease prices. Because if the used prices drop, then the uh, residual value on the leases drops. This has got almost 100,000 miles. I got 18 on it. I can't even tell you. <laughs> All the writing is uh, across the line. Nothing lines up. Oh, but if their uh, sale prices drop, then their lease prices drop, or the residual values drop, and then the lease goes up because you've got to make up for that lack of residual value on the lease payments. So then your new vehicle sales drop, so it's kind of all tied together. Um, new vehicle values and your uh, used vehicle values. This is only 61, I shouldn't say only, this is 61,000. 2,500 Bighorn. How do you look at prices too long and then anything that's less than 80 grand seems like a good deal got the boxes up the side but the Monero are in the middle. Nice interior. SST HO. Maybe a little faster. Gonna find the window sticker. I'm gonna tag. 78,000. See, yeah, I don't know, that does seem a little more. I think 60 looks like a good deal. Yeah, that's why they got the expensive ones out here. Just to make the others look like uh, they're cheap. Got a whole bunch of SSTs in this whole line. There's SST. Looks like some are uh, extra cab and some are crew cab. I don't think I've ever been in the back of one of the Dodge full crew cabs. Um, it really looks like the back seat is bigger. That door looks a lot bigger. 69,000. See, what a deal. Only 69,000. Yeah, choke, gasp. Doesn't seem bad until you like have to actually pay the bill though. All right, a couple more uh, Grand Cherokees. I just like gray. I like things that don't stick out that much. So if you can see the interior, it's 
on Earth. Tints just seem to be getting darker and darker in cars. I thought there was limits to the tint darkness. 51,000. All right, and if you have to talk somebody into a vehicle, I'll have them look at the nice trucks first so they get horrified at the prices and then they can look at uh, whatever else that you actually want. Like, ooh, this is only 50 grand instead of, you know, 78 or whatever. Um, all right, so Johnson & Sons of Wisconsin Rapids. Decent selection. Lots of bikers going by. Decent selection of used. And, I mean, there's nothing cheap, but there's nothing cheap anywhere in the automotive market. I think whoever brings some true Econo cars is going to win. I mean, that's how Hyundai and Kia got their foothold, is to bring some cheaper cars in. Then they just uh, crank up their prices with everybody else. So everybody's trying to cater to the person willing to spend a lot of money on a car. You could say to rich people, but rich people don't do stupid stuff. So it's probably the payment buyer that's uh, really getting in over their head. But uh, this would be our CDJR. Thank you.